good morning students welcome to the biology class we are continuing with our same chapter cell a unit of life today we are going to discuss cytoplasmic its organelles and today's organelle is mitochondria and its structure and function this is very very important organelle Mitochondria are filamentous or granular cytoplasmic organelles which are known as powerhouse of cell they were named by Altman but Benda coined the present name mitochondria mitochondria occur in all eukaryotic cells of the plants and animals but plant cells contain fewer mitochondria they are not found in prokaryotes and anaerobic eukaryotes anaerobic means which respire in the absence of oxygen this is the image showing the structure of mitochondria mitochondria is double membrane it is spherical sausage shaped structure having a double membrane this is the outer membrane this is the inner membrane as you can see in this image the outer membrane is smooth whereas inner membrane is being folded into the finger like projections these are the finger like projections which are being known as the cristi so outer membrane is smooth and inner membrane is folded into a projected into a finger like projections that is known as a cristi to increase the surface area for the aerobic respiration and they have their own dna they are having the granules they are having their own ribosomes and on the cristi you can say this are the particles which are being known as the oxisomes they also helps in the atp synthesis so mitochondria are double membrane sausage shaped structure it is surrounded by outer membrane and inner membrane both the membranes have unit membrane structure that they are made up of phospholipids and proteins outer membrane is smooth but inner membrane projects into mitochondrial cavity in the form of finger like projections called cristi these increase the surface area for cellular respiration the outer and inner membrane are separated by the space called outer compartment or perimitochondrial space the inner mitochondrial membrane encloses the inner compartment which remain filled with proteinaceous material called mitochondrial matrix or simply you can call it as a matrix the fluid which is present inside the inner membrane the matrix is rich in enzymes a circular dna molecule and many small ribosomes and that is 70s type the inner membrane and the cristi bear a number of the particles which have spherical head piece that is f1 subunit and the stalk that is fo subunit that is embedded in the lipid of the membrane and the combination function as atp synthetase in this you can see this is the cristi that is the infolding of the inner membrane and on this there is embedded this oxisome or you can say f1 f4 particles this is the inner membrane this is the outer membrane this is perimitochondrial space so this is f1 particle that is the base and this is the head that is your f0 particle and they are helpful in the formation of atp synthetase mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell because it is the main site for the aerobic respiration what is aerobic respiration means oxidation of food takes place that is means the food get converted into the atp in the presence of oxygen 
and that atp is utilized for carrying out the various metabolic activities that give us the energy so that's why that is known as the power house of the cell so this is about the mitochondria that is why it is having a power house of the cell why it is being known as a power house of the cell because it is a main site means the place for the aerobic respiration what is the meaning of aerobic respiration in which the oxidation of food takes place to release the energy and that energy is utilized for carrying out the various metabolic activities so describe the structure and the function of mitochondria so in this way in detail with diagram that question may come for 5 marks the next and the very important double membrane organelle is plastids they are special cytoplasmic organelles found in eukaryotic plant cells only and they are absent in animal cells they are a double membrane bound organelles of different shapes that are found only in plant cells and they contain pigments and storage products so types of the plastic there are three types of the plastic depending upon their color and function that is leucoplast they are colorless chromoplast that is colorful chloroplast which is green in color so that is proplast that is leucoplast in which the food is being stored that is etoplast in which the oil is going to be stored that is your amyloplast carbohydrates chromoplast that is a colorful pigment are there alleoplast that is the oil and etoplast that is a protein and proteinoplast they are the same one chloroplast in which the photosynthesis takes place because they have a green color pigment that is a chlorophyll first that is your leucoplast they are oval spherical rod like or filamentous and colorless plastids usually found in storage organs like tuber fruits etc they are mostly not exposed to the sunlight their main function is to store the nutrient that is starch in the form of amyloplast proteins that is a allelioplast and the fat that is a allioplast so amyloplast alleoplast and the alleoplast next is your chromoplast these are the colored plastids containing mainly the yellow red and orange pigments other than the green pigments so that is carotene and xanthophylls which are red and carotene that is a red color and the xanthophyll that is of a yellow color they are found in the flowers that's why you can see the different colors of the flowers are there and the skin of fruits means the color of the fruits that may be yellow color that may be red color this is only because of the chromoplast and because of the coloring is there they attract the agents for the pollination that is your insects and the birds and dispersal of the fruits and the seeds takes place so this is a function of the chromoplast next and very important is the chloroplast these are the green plastid containing various photosynthetic pigments like chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b and little of carotene and the xanthophyll they perform the process of photosynthesis that's why this particular plastids are present only in the plant cell because plant cells carry out a very very important function that is photosynthesis only because of the presence of the pigment that is chlorophyll then structure the plastids may be lens shaped oval spherical discoid ribbon like or cup shaped each chloroplast has double membrane covering enclosing the colorless matrix called as stroma and stroma contain the small circular double helix dna as that of the mitochondria ribosomes and the several enzymes so both these organelles they are having their own dna own ribosomes and many flat membranous structures called as the thylakoids occur in the form of a stack of coins means the pile of the coins called as grana 
and they are interconnected by the stoma lamellae so in this picture you can see this is outer membrane this is inner membrane and this is your intermembrane space and it is double membrane structure here you can see the various shapes of the chloroplast that is the cup shape this is ribbon like fine this is a different lens like structures are there so this is again the ribbon like structure is there so the different shapes of the chloroplast are there and this is the outer membrane and this is the inner membrane and this is the intermembrane space and this is the matrix which is being known as the stroma and these are the stack of the thylakoids that is called as the grana so that is the stack of the thylakoids that is known as a grana and the one particular that is a thylakoid and they are connected by this is the known as your stroma lamellae so how that is the stack of the thylakoids or the grana they are being connected with each other so they are green in color because they contains the pigment that is chlorophyll which used to trap the sunlight and convert the sun energy or you can say the solar energy into the chemical energy that is in the food form so the function it perform the photosynthesis and the chlorophyll pigment trap the radiant energy of the sunlight and change it into the chemical energy so very important function played by the chloroplast is the process of photosynthesis this is the only process by which the food is available in our surroundings in our universe very important question why mitochondria and the plastids called semi autonomous organelles means they can perform their own activity independently from the cell why because they are having their own dna and their ribosomes and they can synthesize their own protein required for their functionings so that's why they are not completely dependent on the cell they are having their own dna and the ribosomes and they can synthesize their own proteins and that's why they are being known as semi autonomous organelles very very important question so the plastids and mitochondria they both are being known as a double membrane organelles plays a very important role in animal and the plant cells mitochondria are being present in both the animals and the plant cells but the plastids are present only in the plant cells the next and the very simple organelle is a cytoskeleton it is formed by the elaborate network of filamentous proteinaceous structure in the cytoplasm it is made up of microtubules and microfilaments they provide the mechanical support that maintain the shape of the cell regulate the distribution and the orientation of the cell organelle and they helps in the movement so this is one of the very filamentous network of the organelle present in the cytoplasm which helps in maintaining the shape and the structure and providing the strength to the cell so that is known as a cytoskeleton so today we discussed about the mitochondria about the plastid about the cytoskeleton and mitochondria plastids they are very important sometimes a question come you have to explain the organelles which are semi autonomous and explain them so first you have to give the name of that organelle that is your mitochondria and the plastids and then you have to describe the structure and the function whenever the question comes that you have to describe the structure and the function you have to draw the diagram along with it they may or may not given in the question that you have to explain the structure with the help of diagram then it is clear that you have to give the diagram but some time they simply said describe the structure and the function of power house of the cell the first you had to write mitochondria is known as the power house of the cell then you explain the structure and the function along with the diagram 
then sometimes the question comes you have to explain the kitchen of the cell so the kitchen of the cell where the food can be synthesized that is your chloroplast along with the diagram you have to explain the structure and the functions so our next lesson will be on the cilia and the flagella which helps in the locomotion and along with that we will also explain the centriole and the centrosome and that will be the end of your chapter and for your coming test or for the revision test for the unit test you will have the cell a basic unit of the life as a complete chapter for your test so start preparing for your test from today only till then goodbye Stay home stay safe stay healthy thank you